The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde, written in the latter part of the 19th century. 1897, I think, is when it was produced. Or, or there it's 1895, but uh, three acts, it's definitely a satire. Immediately successful. Uh, this is now the Victorian period, where the big thing in this period, Queen Victoria's Queen of England, it, the big thing is ma manners, and how you act in public, and your morals. You know, there's upper classes, middle classes, lower classes, and you stay there. And Oscar Wilde writes to uh, criticize that. He uses a lot of humor, wit, puns, exaggerations, and wordplay. All right, who are the main characters? There's two of them. Jack and his friend Algy. Some minor characters are, are Lane the butler, uh, Reverend Chausable, Lady Bracknell sometimes is off in recent times has been played by a guy acting like a woman, <laughs> an old woman. She's an old lady. There's uh, Gwendolyn, who wants to marry a man named Ernest. Cecily, who is 18 years old and under Jack's care. And Miss Prism, who is Cecily's governess. This takes place around 1890 in London, which is the city, in Jack's house, which is a very big house out in the country. There's also a village church. And that's what uh, Jack's country house looks like. Action that takes place in Jack's drawing room. Lady Bracknell's mansion in London. The Victorian period, named for Queen Victoria. She was a queen for a long time, as you can see. From 1837 to the end, uh, to into the first year of the 20th century. Um, and the culture, very moral and serious, after following a very crazy king. Women were expected to be the angel in the house and to take care of their husband and family. Whoa, there she is, Queen Victoria. She had nine kids. Wore black after her husband died, the king, and created a culture that supposedly valued family and stability. Manners were supremely important. Hence, they are mocked in this play. Um, English society divided into classes. Interesting that in this time period, Karl Marx, you know him from Marxism, was to write his uh, Das Kapital and Communist Manifesto, and Karl Marx is from England. Bad manners to flaunt the wealth. Young women were always chaperoned, modestly uh, dressed, and the last thing in the world you wanted to do was to be an outcast, which Oscar Wilde, the playwright of this play, became. Gentlemen. Ladies. You don't drop in, you make appointments. A lot of the world is still like this. You, you know, you must have refreshments ready for a call. Men were to be well educated, women were expected to marry well. Those were the values. Oscar Wilde, born in Ireland, lived in England, 
attended Trinity College, very witty, very funny, believed in art for art's sake. A uh, very famous novel is The Picture of Dorian Gray, which is very popular. Students still like to read that, actually. It's been made into a movie a couple times. Um, of course, his most famous uh, uh, escapade is uh, he was uh, he was gay in a period where it was not okay to be gay and was caught. Uh, that's a story in itself, and I think it is a movie put out called Wild in 1997, which uh, documented this, put on trial for it, and did prison time for being gay, and finished his life in Paris. Uh, has a lot of flair, as you can see. Um, his wit shocked people. He's still quoted today. You might have heard many of his quotes without knowing they were attributed to Oscar Wilde. And after he was released from prison, he went to live in Paris, France, or more open society than London would be. And he spent the remainder of his days uh, in poverty and... Uh, died in Paris with many other artists and writers of the time. Words to keep track of, this of course is a comedy, a satire which makes fun of and criticizes the fault of people or groups, purpose being to point out the uh, flaws. He has a lot of wit and, he, and puns which play on words especially earnest, because earnest is the name of a person. It also means seriousness. Jack and Algy are the protagonists. A foil is a character that contrasts the main character and a blocking figure, a character often an old and cranky person which interferes with the romantic desires of the other main characters. That's Lady Bracknell. And... Uh, Food is an important motif in, in the importance of being in earnest. As I mentioned, uh, he has many famous quotes. Life is too important to be taken seriously. I always pass on good advice. It is the only thing to do with it. It is never of any use to anyone, to oneself. I can resist everything except temptation. I never travel without my diary. One should always have something sensational to read in the train. To lose one's parent may be regarded as a misfortune. To lose both looks like carelessness. Even though his play was written more than 100 years ago, it continues to be very popular, still performed, uh, made into a movie in, that we'll see clips of uh, from 2002, um, and recently performed on Broadway. The title of the play is a pun. As I mentioned, to be earnest means to be serious, and the main character uses the name Ernest when he is in the city. Bunburying is using an, ali an, um, an alias, alias to get away with and avoiding social obligations. Uh, Algy will mention Bunburying early on in the Act 1. We are ready to begin the play.